Shadow Coast here and welcome to Crusader Kings 3. This is one of my favorite games. I am by no means an expert, but I thought I would live stream and post a journey playing as Wessex. So for those of you who have watched The Last Kingdom, I recently watched that on Netflix. This is inspired by that. So we're going to start a new game. We are going to click Wrath of the Northmen. So we are starting in 867. So obviously there are two time periods. So a blast from the past. And we are going to start as the Count or Dorset. Earl Alfred, we're 18. As the Vikings push further south, Earl Alfred of Dorset is readying his troops. In the coming years, Alfred will fight numerous battles against the Norsemen and put an end to the inv invasion. When he inherits his brother's throne, he becomes one of the greatest English kings throughout history. Will you fulfill Alfred's great destiny or be crushed by the great heathen army? Well, I certainly hope that we are not. Again, if you watch The Last Kingdom, we're set in that era. I think we're actually starting a little bit earlier than when that took place, if I'm not mistaken. And let's jump right in. A generator map now as I mentioned I am by no means an expert at this game I have played a ton and I am still learning things about the game and what to do so please feel free to comment or post suggestions as I go uh, so we're gonna start out here and I'm just getting set up my mouse there we go now it's working so we are starting as Dorset, and we have our liege, our brother, Aethelred. Now, Aethelred will probably eat it pretty soon because he's fighting two wars that we are partaking in um, currently. So let's take a quick few seconds to get oriented. Now, as Alfred, we are going to be fighting a fair amount, so we are going to throw on strategy focus and get the martial trait to help us with battles now we will negotiate an alliance with Aethelred off the bat I'm not sure why we don't already have one and he's going to accept now make sure you if you if you're playing along with me I, I've actually played a test run that's going fairly well um, so I'm hoping I can replicate my success uh, but make sure you do that first because if you go to war then it's harder to to then uh, form an alliance with our with our older brother here off the bat we can go to war declare a holy war on Leon Count Olaf's place now he has inferior troops so we're gonna go ahead and declare war and our military is mightier we probably should have looked at that before I just went ahead and declared war we're gonna raise our armies and take the fight now if you look at this, we will get a decent bonus for military with only a minor impact to our income. So when I go to war, I go all out. And as we take a look at items, this is our, our issue button is one of our key buttons in this game because it basically tells us what we should be doing or thinking about doing. One of the things I'm looking at here is who do I want to start scheming against? I'm going to sway our bishop because we will be leveraging uh, the church to give us gold, which we are going to need desperately. So we're going to speed up time, and we are going to march over here and put some hurt on these people. Whoa. That, that, that took a turn. We were a high-quality army. And now we are a crappy one because we lost our marshal. So we can recruit Niat to court. It is important that we have decent martial skills considering that we are fighting. So we are going to issue that. And they have... All right, we have double the troops here. So we will easily enforce this and win so thank you very much empty council position we will assign bishop utred hey utred he's making an appearance just like the main character from last kingdom 
All right, boom, done. Wipe our hands clean of that. Now, this area we don't really need or want, but we're gonna hold on to it for now because we're under our domain limit up here in the top right. We're gonna look, it's generating 0.3, so it's actually helping us. So there is an active war going on. We're gonna switch over to assist ruler to get some bonuses across the board. And we do have a low county control. So if we come to our marshal, well, yeah, there we go. We can have him uh, implement some control. We don't have any faith in counties, so we don't have to convert them, which is nice. We declared a holy war and freed them from the oppressive Olaf dude. Okay, what's next? There are two battles going on. One of them is being lost, so defenders. Petty Kingdom of Northumbria is under attack. So we can kind of see this here. Um, that he's probably getting, wow, 6,000. And he is so screwed. There's not much we can do. Petty Kingdom of East Anglia. Now, he's in pretty dire shape too. Let's take a look. 800. Wow. Our bro is not doing well. So I don't think we're going to win either of these. Mercia. Yeah, there's not a lot of recourse. So this is the Army of Winchester, our brother. Army of Norwich. So, combined, they have a decent army. So, our brother actually has a much bigger army than it kind of suggests here. Um, I'm not sure why their military strength looks so low. Because uh, they're clearly better than us. So, we are going to raise our army and try to help these folks out. We have 700. Man, we are just rotating through council positions. This person is extremely good at intrigue, so I'm hard pressed to let him go. We're gonna let this sit for a minute, which is not a good thing. So look at that. Well, we raised our army, but we took a hit for our income. That is okay for a few minutes here. We are going to why are you just chilling here? And our wife is pregnant. Now that reminds me, before we start marching to war, we're gonna come over here, try to help out East Anglia, whatever degree we can. Let's take a look. We don't have any children yet. Uh, and our brother is our heir, so our baby is extremely important. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Starting our family lineage tree. We're gonna head over. Here. So these guys are bad guys. I'm assuming. All right. Of all the buffoonery I have ever seen in Reeves, Hearthbert's inane efforts to improve my relations with my neighbors, my good-for-nothing chancellor has officially acknowledged Count Alfron's claim on the earldom of Leon. So we very well could be defending this area pretty darn soon. And we are being raided. Uh, we are going to help in this battle. Alright, that's been taken care of. So, all right, we have a daughter. Not the worst thing, what we are hoping, given secession laws. Duke Bernard of Barcelona has announced to, me, to the world that he and his vassals have converted to Bogomilism. I don't even know how to say that. So, what twisted mockery is this? We are good honest Christians in this playthrough and where is this dude he's all the way up there I think he's gonna get away with the loot we're gonna try to cut him off 
So they have to raid and then get back to their main area. So there's some shenanigans going on up here. Uh, we are going to kind of reinforce our brother's army. So we can combine it. Whoa, whoa, oh boy, we just, that was so awkward. That was a mistake. We just inherited all of Wex Wessex and it happened super fast. And that's why I could combine the army. That was not my intent. When we were, when I clicked over here, I thought we were bringing the first army in Norwich with us. So we are the head of the culture, which is fantastic. Uh, we're going to focus on city planning, and you're going to see why in a little bit. So empty council position. We have counselors, but we are at war, so we're going to pick someone that's good at fighting and not just a powerful vassal that demands it. This guy is good at diplomacy, but not at fighting. We are well above our domain limit. So we do not want to be above our domain limit because if we are um we have a penalty so currently they cause no penalties but they will eventually so we could ride this out but there's really nothing driving us to really need to hold on to these domains so leon for example down here we are going to grant to whoever we think is relevant which if we were playing super specifically we would take more time to look at that but for now it's not overly concerning um we basically took all of wessex so when we look through this sussex doesn't provide a lot of value from an income perspective so we're going to grant this to Serdic. And we have to pick one more. Let's take a look here. What is Hampshire? Well, Hampshire has Winchester. And Winchester, Dorset, um, these areas are going to be important to us as we build up. So, Earldom of Carisbrook. That seems like it's okay. It's a little island out there. We could give this to our court year and he becomes our vassal and we're in good shape so we can declare war on this dude down here but uh, before we do that we're fighting two wars and we have to figure out like this isn't gonna end well for us is dude gonna help us I don't think he's gonna help us this could end very poorly that was a critical mistake. All right, we're going to empathize with shared interest. What is this jerk doing? All right. Advantage 15 in your favor. If either of these guys could help us out, that would be absolutely fantastic. If you look at this, we actually don't have an alliance anymore with the Mercians. So let's take a look. Negotiate alliance will not accept why I am at war. That means you should be incentivized to accept. What the hell is going on, man? Uh, we're going to take a look. Slowly but surely winning. And part of the reason these guys aren't helping us is we don't have an alliance. Offer to join war. Alright. Kind of got pulled into a useless war. A tough battle. All right, our advantage is finally catching up. We 
can lawfully imprison this person. We're gonna wait. Man, this is exhausting. Uh, we don't want to retreat because we're gonna win. There we go. All right, boom. Spanked them pretty good. We took heavy losses. Can ask the head of faith for gold. And who, what is this jerk doing? Unacceptable. All right, Marshall Perk, we want organized march, so we increase our movement speed. All right, after a tense siege, Yalorain has exceeded and penetrated the fortified settlement of Wareham. What, where is our, where are people going? All right, we're gonna take this guy out. We won. And we killed him. All right. We're kinda done with this. And we are going to actually go this route and to the benevolent, like benevolent King Alfred of Wessex, your steward Earl Thorid has insulted me gravely. Um, so we're gonna keep this guy happy for now. And we're actually gonna declare war a religious war on these people. And if we go to military, we can actually create a new rallying point. So we're gonna create a rallying point here and we're gonna raise our army and we should raffle stomp this guy pretty fast. You are not married. I've released your acquaintance from my prison to serve as my... He stole my wife? Are you kidding me? This guy's a monster. Alright. Well, we're gonna... Assassinate that dude at some point. Alright. We captured this guy for Mercia. So we are in the market for a new wife. Ours has been stolen away. Um, genius is a great trait. So we're going to grab that. And hopefully have a bunch of kids. Alright. And we've already won this war. So boom. And... That guy's been captured, so that war is over. And we're gonna dis whoop, disband our armies so we have a decent economy going. Uh, we, I'll let my subjects enjoy the festivities of my marriage to keep them nice and happy. Now you can see my domain limit, I've reached it again. This is, what is this, Montague? So if we come down here at the bottom we are going to grant this to who's ever the most relevant. Again, you could be a little more discerning, but they're all my vassals at this point, so I'm not that worried. All right, so we can only declare war for the county because the duchy, um, within the target title, all titles held by are seized by any Catholic and vassalized by you. We can't do this because our level of devotion isn't level 2 yet. 
more importantly they would destroy us they are superior um, and what we really need to start doing is think about think about building an alliance I'm kind of preferentially treating Mercia but they are getting absolutely eviscerated which is not good for them um, so we're gonna let this play out a little bit we do have our kingdom of Wessex slowly expanding we're going to put our bishop to work and we're gonna start grabbing Cornwall and Devon for our own reasons we're going to disrupt schemes to make sure that they can't run any shenanigans against us and we'll eventually declare war on this dude and that guy that stole my wife he was like way over here concubine yeah this was our this was our our hold on is that our daughter daughter of Ethelred um yeah this is our wife so I'm wondering if I'm not sure I'm not sure we'll figure that out later I don't know if that if she was stolen and we have to free her or it looks like she went on her own accord which means that we're not too happy with that all right let's start building some stuff we're gonna construct some walls and towers and I'm gonna we can't build this yet because we have not researched burrs and burrs is actually an early medieval item so basically the way this tab works down here this is our culture uh, things will unlock as we kind of as time passes and we play through we can as the cultural head pick an area to focus to accelerate it and as we research these, these things it'll unlock the ability to upgrade buildings and do other things so that's super important one item we will be doing is building a new holding here now part of the reason why we are focusing on city planning is once we unlock city planning we can actually construct a new city so you can see here um, we can build a castle city or a temple we want to build a city um, because it'll be sprawling and we can build a bunch of other buildings to to help basically supercharge our economy the two areas I'm going to focus on right now are Warham and Winchester. Now, depending on which one we can develop faster, we'll move the capital. If we click this little button right here, we can actually move the realm capital. Uh, but for now, I actually like Dorset because if we think about it, um, once we secure these two areas, um, we will be probably invaded from these areas over here or by sea here so we can kind of see them coming by sea to give our soldiers time to get back these two areas are nice to have not need to have they're really contributing very little to our economy so we're not as concerned about them all right aggressive attacker fed fatal casual enemy fatal casualties plus 25 percent um and we'll just supply duration we're gonna go with this one aggressive attacker really really put the hurt on the enemy all right we're gonna go with this one improved defenses garrison size is nice but we're not gonna need that if we play our attack progresses very well go through the sewers all right you will gain um, gonna go with this one so we're gonna hit them hard all right holding a door set gets improved defenses which is super nice always good now 
for now, we are going to get Parthian Tactics. And the reason we're getting Parthian Tactics is we just got two points, so we can grab Naval Speed too, which is nice. Okay, our glory is widely known. We're leveling up our prestige. Going to the military tab, this is actually extremely important. We're going to want to build regiment at arms. Now the way this works is we have a cap and we can pick up to three different types. Now each one that we click on, it's basically a more advanced version of rock, paper, scissors, right? So light footmen, they're skirmishers and they counter heavy infantry. Bowmen counter skirmishers, right? Horsemen counter archers, etc., etc. For us, we are going to have bowmen, horsemen, and cavalry. Armored footmen, onuggers, that's how you say it. These are siege weapons, which are pretty nice. Um, I think that this combo of these three tends to work out fairly well. It really depends on who you're fighting and what they're favoring. So, for example, when we head over to this dude we're going to be fighting. Um, or where is it? Where is he? Counts. Nope. You can declare wars. And we look at him. He doesn't have any specific... It says special soldiers and mercenaries because he's hired mercenaries. We're not exactly sure what he is sporting. Right? If we go to this person. Vastly inferior. You sound like a good target. You're all the way over here. Um, let's see. They have light footmen, right? So light footmen... And again, we, these are hard to swap in and out. So you're making long-term investments. Light footmen are skirmishers. So we're going to want bowmen. So we're going to go to war with them. Now we can upgrade these up to three times. So we could have 300 bowmen. We're just going to stick with 100 for now because there is upkeep cost. And if we are not actively increasing control, we're going to want to actually keep train commanders to reduce the cost of our men at arms so we're going to give it a few seconds and then we are going to we can't do the duchy because we're not faithful but hypothetically where is this person i don't even there they are there they are county Ooh, so the county's actually over here. Got it. So we're going to go for the county. So we're going to attack them there. We're actually going to declare war. We're going to raise our army here. Charming. That's great. Now, I just split my army by clicking split in half. To select just one army, click this little arrow there so you just command that one army. We're going to head over there. Now the reason I s s oh, see it done, so we just um, set up our claim on this area so we know where we're attacking next. I split my army because I want to attack both the area I want and hopefully capture their... Capture their leader to end this fight. Alright, improved pillaging, improved defending, improved villain. Both strategies are going to give it to us. So we just shellac that army that was helping them. And this hostile army is coming in, so we want to be careful. All right, and we're doing well over there. E, that does not bode well for us, so... We're gonna turn to mercenaries, which we can't afford because they're all not available. Son of a gun. Sometimes it's good to... 
How is this battle going? Not well. We have the advantage, but it's not going to make up for it. Yeah, we got we got shellacked. Hmm. This guy's just sitting there. Alright, let's head over here. The first time a vassal hailed me with Long Live Alfred the Great, I was deeply honored. So we have become Alfred the Great, which is great, despite the fact we just suffered a debilitating loss. Nothing can be done, severely injured, that's not great. So 53%, we just grab this spot. We are going to come back here with our group 92% we're known for our dedication to our faith our chancellor's down we're gonna this guy's high it's probably important we're above our domain limit uh, we are going to ransom good way to make some money Alright, we're going to gain some influence. Do we... Are they... They're not over here. We still have this captured. Question is... Where is... Where, oh, they're right here. Oh boy. We are going to, oh, they caught us. Ouch, we were doing so well. This dude, I guess, hired a bunch of soldiers. I'm not exactly sure how or why these other people are helping them but they are and it's very confusing because it doesn't look like he has any allies so I'm gonna make this a super group uh, holy war is invalidated well wasted time we ask our head of faith for some gold we're going to disband our units so we're making more gold. It costs a fair amount to keep them. We're going to hit hit and run so our retreat losses aren't as high. And we have another daughter. Good Catholic name. Rachel. Uh, I am ill. We're going to send for the physician and we're going to get the more experienced one even though they are more expensive. Alright, so this dude, we can get the duchy. Their military strength is inferior, and they're already defending against somebody. So we're going to go ahead and take on Jarl Ivor the Boneless. Ooh. We are not going to take on them because we don't have enough piety. Too late for caution. I will live another day, luckily. Um, and I lost the trait ill, so we are feeling better. Okay, let's handle this domain limit. Uh, 
Erdog, um, Kent, Winchester, Bath. So we're going to definitely, we'll give up this one in the middle because it's contributing the least to us. And as we were talking before, our levy size, light footman, son of a gun. We have them. I don't know why we have them, but we have them. So I'm not going to worry about getting rid of them yet. I'm going to increase our archers to size 2. So our army is slowly but surely upgrading itself. And we're really looking for 80 piety. A secret exposed. Wow. There's no way to conclusively prove it. Countless almost Urgil has brought forward evidence that Urbeth is not my daughter, but was followed by my vassal Reeve. What? I am not doing very well with um Oh this is my first daughter first daughter um okay that makes sense she's now a con concubine over there well she saw some political weight we can marry her off for for um Oh, wow, we could do county. We're going to go for my claims, but they are superior to ours, so we're going to hold off on that. Uh, my vassal Reef has brought forward undeniable evidence that Seek's birth was followed by none other than him. Are you kidding me? What is going on in my kingdom? This is absolutely ridiculous. The shame fruit truth has reached light of day my acquaintance has capitulated with my vassal ethel head wait how do we see her parents oh yeah we we don't really care for her anyways that's okay I just want my current wife to be hopefully faithful. That'll impact our lineage potentially. You inherited the earldom of... Oh man, everyone we keep giving this earldom to, it's like cursed. Absolutely cursed. Uh, 9, 19 is better. We're going to pick high. Alright, so... This is not going well for us compared to my other playthrough, but that's okay. We're going to give it to this person. And hopefully that doesn't that works out better. All right, so vastly inferior. We're gonna declare war, and we're gonna actually set a third point here. Oof. Um. We just had a critical system crash and that might be my computer and me trying to have it do too many things at once. I am downloading and uh, another game and updating. I'm also recording and have my video editing software running all at once which is clearly causing some problems. So I just stopped a few of those and we we're going to continue on our way. Oh, son of a gun, hit and run. How far how far back do we do we get knocked off track? Defeat defeat so we can disband everybody. We Okay, so when that battle became irrelevant, look like is when we, we loaded back into. That's super unfortunate. Um, I'm not sure if we miss much. 
All right, CX produces a lot, so Surrey we will get rid of and send to this guy. We're gonna ask our head of faith for some gold. Uh, when we look at our domain, Dorset's building, Somerset, Bath. Let's take a quick look. Duchy titles, this is Wessex, so we're gonna wanna keep Bath and we will happily upgrade um, this area. So we're going to go with forestry. And we can upgrade this area. And again, looks like we can actually upgrade a few items here. Pastoral lands is nice. So we get some more levies. And we receive some some money so we have another daughter and we can declare war on this guy or we can declare war on this guy so he's vastly inferior so we're gonna declare war on him and head over Oof. Deliver a speech about unity. We're stronger together. And we win. So we're going to enforce the man's. So be it. Uh, Erdemus CX. Oh my goodness. This is insane. So we're going to ransom this guy. Uh, low county... So this is an enemy army. And we are under attack by Orkney, Slouchland, and these dudes. What the heck happened? So we're above domain limit. Wow. Like a lot, this is what happens when you set it to five speed. A lot of stuff went down. All right, this person has 20. That is ridiculously high. You can see that's excellent. Marshall is, this one's tough. I picked the 15, which is just good. Intrigue, 19, that should be excellent. Great. And disrupt schemes. Um, we're going to get rid of some of these domain limits. We don't have penalties yet, but we will soon have penalties. And we're going to chase this person down. We are also, so where is this person? Over there. So we're going to target you first. The way we're going about this is we're going to raise some mercenaries. Unraise light footmen. Um, I'm hoping we can combine those maybe. Let me take a look here. So. We. So, so like all our money. We're going to hire these people and to the false buddy king. We're going to multi-prong, multi-step, chase these people down. And we're going to kind of meet them here. Take them out. So we're, we have a few victories going on. Nice. We want to kill them because then they can't just regain. We're still above our domain limit. Which we know we're going to have to make some major moves. Um, so Wellwolf was followed by none other than him. 
What? This is our new daughter? Wait. This is somebody else's daughter. Alright. God will judge them. I'm gonna just keep chasing these people down. So we're going to enforce demand so we get gold and they spend a lot of effort. And so we are kind of really laying into these folks. I'm gonna head over there, take this army over here and see if we can grab some hostages. Now, where is Orkney? That should be up north of us. Yeah, you're there. So, we're gonna actually s move this army back here, let you heal a little bit. We're gonna split you off. In our second army of Wareham, you're gonna go grab these people. And then we have a defensive force. All right, we're gonna recruit this person to court. Can never have too many people in our court. All right, so invalidated. So that means... Great, and then we can enforce claims here. Only get seven gold, that seems like nothing for our effort. So we're going to be the guardian of our daughter. Low County Control in Devon. All right, so we have to get rid of some stuff before this starts hurting us. Vassal opinion, domain levies, like a lot of negative things are gonna happen. So we're gonna come down here and Devon, we are going to grant to Bjorn de London. So we'll keep his name in mind. We're going to give them some other stuff later on, potentially. Um, next, we have Montague over here. So we don't want to deal with this. We're going to give this to this person. All right, what else do we have going on? Um, Kent... Berkshire, Oxford. So these are all Wessex areas. And we don't we don't want to touch these. Um, that being said, we will build farms and fields. Petty Kingdom, Earldom or Berkshire. So that's Not as important. Alright, so we're going to give away these two over here. Suffolk. And Kent. And we are back to looking pretty. All right, so we are going to do manage domain. This wife is much, much better. And we're well on our way in this first episode. Thanks so much for watching. Please consider subscribing. And if you want to see more of the Last Kingdom Crusader King playthrough, please let me know. Please post comments and drop me a thumbs up. If not, there are a slew of other games I'll be playing and posting on. We hope to see you in future videos. Shadow Coast out.